Is there a number of guys you want to get to in a rotation in the secondary, just overall, or, or that you're comfortable with right now? Uh, you know, I, I like to rotate everybody, give everybody a few reps. Again, it just depends on, you know, the understanding factor, the critical moments. Try to get guys in a little earlier. You know, that's always the plan, but you got to go with the flow of the game. The biggest thing is to not over, overwhelm the guys that's going to play. Because, again, you know, you look up, and last year, the first four or five games, Mike Edwards played 80-plus snaps in every game. That, that wasn't beneficial to him or to us. So we want to continue to give, give him some spare time, get him rested, get him back out there, get some other guys in there to work as well. You know, uh, it's funny you asked that. I was trying to find some weaknesses on him. Uh, he has very good hands. He's very explosive. He's tough off of press. Uh, down the field, if you try to get hands on him, he learns how to dip and rip and get skinny. He finds the holes, and, uh, you know, he's just a big play guy for him. He's, he's a fighter. Last year, he caught a ball on us and on the sideline, and one of our stronger DBs wrapped him up, and he pulled away from him, you know. So I think he's a very competitive person, and I think our guys are going to bring their A game to, you know, continue to match that competitiveness. Is the word playing behind uh, Westry or Brady or someone else? You know, I play, you know, again, it, again, it really it depends. You know, I, I have them all kind of backed up. They can back up one another, depending on the situation of the game, depending on what we're going to call, what I think the strengths of we this is all the defensive backs. Mark said one of the advantages of having court play would be to move Jordan around some. Was it always the plan to have a freshman DB or someone else play so you could be more versatile <laughs> with Jordan? It, I mean, it's always the plan to try to play the best, the guys that are, you know, evolving and getting everything that we're trying to give them. And uh, it just so happened that he, you know, in the spring it was a little slow for him, and then, boom, he picked it up this summer. I think having the summer workouts helped him as well. Um, and, again, yes, what Coach said, having him has helped us move around different players that can play different positions and uh, make us give us more depth and more quality. Matt Lynch. talked about the, the motions that they use. How big of a key is that for your DBs and, and their responsibilities? And so? Well, it's, it's entirely, you know, one of the biggest things that they do to get you off your game, get you confused, you don't get lined up, you give up big plays. So that's one of the most critical things for us, critical element for us. We want to get lined up, we want to communicate, we want to anticipate the movement and everything that we're going to get. And, it, you know, last year it showed up that we weren't ready for that. And uh, we really, you know, made a big point of getting ready for it this year. Seemingly, it, it, uh, it's been my experience to watch, watch this, this program, maybe other programs I don't know sure, but uh, junior college kids seem to have a, 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 a real adjustment here at from junior college to, to this, this level of football. Having said that, uh, uh, where, where's Lonnie Johnson? Uh, right now, Lonnie's uh, backing up, you know, the corners. Um, he's, has, he's progressed very well. Um, you know, again, like you said, sometimes it's tough for them to continue to, you know, build better habits really is the biggest thing. And, uh, you know, Lonnie had a layoff last year. He didn't play. So getting back in shape was the first part in the spring. Now learning the defense and to continue to improve every day has been a big uh, uh, goal for him. And he's starting to achieve it.